we've been presented with uh, kind of a, a take it or leave it and um, uh, the sort of proposal that uh, these are jobs that we need to have in the area. Walmart has spent an enormous amount of money on its public relations campaign. You've probably heard ads or seen ads in the newspapers, on TV. Um, we only wish that they would use some of that money for their, to spread around to their employees rather than putting it into a marketing campaign to clean up their image or to try to clean up their image. Pullman also is the home of um, the uh, first uh, or the railway workers union and uh, where the first strike occurred, a national strike in 1894. So it's it's really ironic that in our area where we keep, uh, where we take labor history pretty serious and we host the annual Labor Day uh, event in Chicago and um, that Walmart w would come in with their anti-union attitudes, uh, their union busting um, uh, history and to come in and select Pullman as the home for the next store in, in Chicago. Uh, I, I wanted to correct Bill uh, about Joe Moore. I think he came here last month to talk about the clean power, a uh, clean um, power ordinance. Uh, but I kind of hijacked that agenda by asking him about the Walmart issue because I, I knew that a few years ago he was one of the co-sponsors of the big box ordinance that uh, was passed by the city council and ultimately was um, then uh, vetoed by the mayor. So uh, what's happened so far? Our, our alderman is really fully behind this. Uh, our alderman is Anthony Beal. Anthony Beal was recently uh, named as the police and fire uh, chairman of that committee, police and fire committee since uh, the previous chairman has just gone to jail. And um, uh, our alderman uh, and Walmart and the prime uh, backer behind the development of what's what's known as Pullman Park is the U.S. Bank. And U.S. Bank has just recently taken over what originally was the Pullman Bank, had become Park National Bank, and now is U.S. Bank. U.S. Bank uh, took over because Park National Bank failed, and um, there was an infusion of $50 million at the last minute before Park National Bank went down of TARP funds for for the um, U.S. Bank to come in and purchase large tracts of, of property and homes. I think we have one of the highest foreclosure rates in the nation in, in our area, by the way. So uh, the bank is buying up a lot of land around there, and they're using our taxpayer money to do this and to, to de develop this uh, Walmart property. Uh, we've come together and have formed what's uh, known as the Concerned Citizens of the Ninth Ward, and, and we thought... Uh, maybe we need to sound a little more radical than that, so some of us have began calling ourselves the Pullman Six, because there are like six of us that have really, <laughs> really come to the forefront to uh, work on this issue. And we have accomplished an, an enormous amount of uh, progress in just a short period of time. What kind of brought this to, to the surface and, and uh, uh, got us going and really charged up and uh, began to help build the coalition was they wanted to vote uh, an endorsement from our community uh, of this project with the Walmart as the flagship. And we were able to quickly, and I mean very quickly, pull together a few people and, and start a debate at one of our organization meetings and were able to stall that vote for a month and what that did, uh, this thing was moving full speed ahead. And I mean, uh, th all the wheels were greased. The alderman had all his ducks lined up. Uh, the bank and the developers and Walmart and the civic people were all lined up, ready to go downtown. And by our little action of stalling a vote at one of our civic meetings, put the brakes on everything we feel. So we brought together talent and... and uh, uh, energy to be able to stop this, uh, kind of not, not stop it, but to really put the skids on it for the time being. We all went down to City Hall and testified um, at the zoning committee because this first had to clear zoning and then it will go to the full city council. 
Uh, they've now had two meetings of the Zoning Committee, and they haven't had a vote yet. It was pulled from the last agenda uh, by our alderman, who we've now come to realize uh, that he doesn't have the votes. I do want to say that for people, what does it mean to you and what does it mean to people in other parts of the city? Well, I think Walmart has planned at least five other stores in the city, and they need to get this one passed first. Uh, we're afraid that this is, is a spiral downward, but what you can do is to keep the pressure on your alderman, whether you're in the northwest side, north side, west side, wherever. Uh, the store that has located in Austin, the one Walmart store that has uh, um, been able to open, a study by Loyola University has shown how damaging it has been to other small businesses in the area. The study has shown that the jobs gained by having the Walmart there have been offset by the job losses at the mom and pop stores around there. And uh, so you can keep the pressure on your alderman. It's going to be an, another election coming up. Like Laura said, new candidates are coming out of the woodwork, and I think that all the aldermen in the city are going to be able, are, are going to be looking at the, uh, how they uh, are going to vote on this after last election where some of them were beaten.